different uh, incidents with Bob here, which kind of just really gives you a, a, a good insight into his character. Uh, he said he doesn't know how his tag team partner tolerated him. He says, I'll never know because Bob Sweeten, as I knew well by now, is one of the most cantankerous human beings I had ever encountered. <laughs> it is my favorite It's my most cantankerous. I love a southern person yeah. saying someone's cantankerous. <laughs> That's my favorite shit in the world. The most cantankerous some bitch I ever did meet in my entire life. As long as it's followed by some so bitch. bitch yeah, we we yeah. both knew that some bitch was coming up next. There was no fucking doubt about that at all. Also, I know. I want to laugh so bad I'm going to cough if I laugh. Damn it. Damn it. Stop making me laugh. I never want to be uh, labeled like that where the most cantankerous. It's also like, bitch. I don't want anybody to write something about me where they're like, I don't know how James sat next to him for so many hours. He's such a piece of shit. Just a complete piece of shit. That is why I do my best to live the fucking oh, nicest God. possible way because I don't want anybody like yeah, you don't want this you about into me. how much of a piece of shit I am. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I like the other guy, but I don't know how he put up with this son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> this he's talking about the second time he ends up working with Bob because we'll talk about the first time when Jim Ross first broke into the business as a referee. But this is a little later on. So he was a ref before he was announced? Yeah, most of the guys were. Most of the guys would start out as like either a referee or so and so was taking pictures. They would just they do whatever, they'd hang around for a long time, and eventually they'd be like, hey, go take the guy's ring jackets back to the locker room, and then you'd be there. And then it would be, hey, you know, maybe drive that guy to the airport. And then next thing you know, when you're 18 or so, hey, maybe you want to go referee a few matches, and then you get bigger like Jake the Snake Roberts, and then wrestler, you become a manager that way, or that's how all those guys start out the day, as referee, and they learn the business. They'd send them to ref because then you learn the match. You can't, you can watch two guys who are good at it from two feet away from them in the ring, you can hear what they're saying to each other, you can, you know, figure out their psychology with the crowd and why they're doing it and shit like that, so it was a good way to train guys. Uh, he says, uh, Jim Ross says that, uh, that Bob had gotten even more miserable in the last few years since I'd seen him. I don't know whether, whether I was uh, happy not to find out that his bullying wasn't just limited to me, but uh, not by any stretch. Sweeten also took advantage of job guys, wrestlers, 